Okay, um, <laughs> I didn't really want to uh, make this until I read something I just picked up today. It is, um, it's almost 2.30 uh, Saturday, um, August uh, 15th. I, I just came back from uh, riding my bike out to uh, Santa Fe uh, to pick up a book. I, I love living in a blue state. It's great, man. Everybody's literate around here. Anyway, um, there's a bookstore in uh, Santa Fe, and I, I, have, I have ordered one book, and he had it, and he had this other book. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna show you the books that I ordered because, like I said, um, this is the book that I, uh, it's still in the, the the thing that he ordered it for me. But uh, let me take it out right now. I, like I said, I literally just got home uh, about 20 minutes ago, and it's called The Avengers of the New World. This is the book about the Haitian Revolution. I strongly recommend uh, you get it. Uh, please get it. Uh, Laurent uh, Dubois is the guy, you know, and um, I'm sorry, the, the ISB number is like seriously small, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a book about the Haitian Revolution, and along with, it's actually the book I was talking about on the last video, it's called The Black Jacobins, the one that's assigned with this book, the, the Avengers of the New World, it's named after that statue that I was talking about, but this is the book, I would strongly recommend you get it, uh, uh, Professor Dubois, um, did a really good job uh, detailing what Desalines and uh, Toussaint did. Um, and I picked up another book while I was at the bookstore. Um, I saw it and I just could, could not not pick it up. Um, it's by uh, Nicholas Johnson and it's called Negroes and the Gun. Right? I know it's probably reversed, but that's what it's called. It's called Negroes and the Gun. And it's a really good book. I, I remember uh, reading excerpts out of this book, out of other. Um, anthologies um, and it's a really good book and he details how firearms and civil rights have been integral to, to black people winning their rights and also rights for other people right I mean there's really you have to be totally honest with it if it wasn't for uh, the civil rights movement my parents would have never came here right so uh, I strongly strongly recommend I was gonna go home and 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 just spend the rest of the day mostly reading this book and then spend the rest of tomorrow uh, reading this book. But while I was at the bookstore, um, the guy happened to have, uh, you know, his, his, his uh, desktop or whatever tuned to YouTube. And apparently, uh, <laughs> oh my God, it's so stupid. In, uh, in Stone Mountain today, uh, a bunch of redneck idiots decided to show up 45 days after uh, the NFAC and uh, uh, Grandmaster Jay showed up. Uh, because if you guys remember back in the 4th of July, right before the 4th of July, there was rumors on Facebook and shit that, you know, the KKK was going to roll around killing black people, right? So that's when this whole NFAC sh stuff started out. Dude, uh, Grandmaster Jay rolled up there. If you look at the video, he said, we're here. You know, what the fuck? And now 45 days later, these idiots were there. And... and um, I mean, it's a good thing that the guy had the desktop turned on to it because I stayed there and watched it for a good 40 minutes because it's like 100 degrees outside. I rode my bike uh, up the turquoise uh, trail to Santa Fe. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a quicker way to get to Santa Fe uh, to get the book, but I wanted to ride my bike to the turquoise trail. So, you know, it, it was a nice little ride and it was, it, was, it was hot and everything, but I stayed and watched this and I'm watching this stuff and they had several different feeds and you know the the funniest part about all of this is that <laughs> the BLM people and the, the 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 white people with like a conscience and shit they chase these motherfuckers into a library i mean i want you to think about that just 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 let let the irony of that just just percolate in your mind for a second right these fucking inbred idiots who probably can't read but at an 8th grade level are, have been forced into a library by people who understand that their backwards ass views belong in the last last century like 200 years ago it's hilarious right I saw on the video feed uh, a, a white dude and a black dude this was beautiful man I mean I, I wish whoever shot that video had played over like Ebony and Ivory you know that song with uh, Paul McCartney and shit and Michael Jackson, they need to, they, or was it Stevie Wonder? Whatever the fuck, right? They need to play that song over because there's this, this black dude and a white dude, and they have that fucking traitor flag, the Confederate flag, and they're lighting that shit on fire. And you can see in the background the library, right? And you, you can't really see them looking, but you see these dickwads walking around with their AR-10s and AR-15s. And I know they can see them burning the Confederate flag, and they ain't doing shit.
they didn't do a motherfucking thing, right? Right. I, I understand why certain black people and uh, Latinx and Hispanic people want to burn the flag, the American flag, right? And I can understand why veterans, if you do that in front of a veteran, you're probably going to get your ass kicked, or at least going to try to kick your ass, right? <laughs> but these cowards had fucking weapons, right? And their flag was being burned right in front of them, and they didn't do shit. I want you to think about that. Right? I want you to think about your elderly grandparents, your, your nana and all that shit, and, and imagine them, like, if they're Christian, imagine if somebody was in their yard burning a picture of Christ. you think you'd keep them in the house? They'd lose their shit, man. These motherfuckers had rifles. Right? They, nothing, nothing. Didn't even come out and say, stop that shit. Just watch them do it. Cowards, the lot of them. The lot of them. Right? We were talking about that uh, 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 New Mexico Civil Guard shit on the 22nd. Apparently they're doing Clovis. Clovis is, is like real close to the Texas border, so I can kind of understand why they would do that shit. Because they can run their ass right across the Texas border. Right? I didn't think that they didn't want to do it here because the mayor told them that they're going to get arrested and the governor told them they don't show up. But if they are in Clovis, they can just act like a bunch of dickwads. No, we're headed towards Lubbock or some dumb shit. Right? So they're going to be in Clovis for a voter registration drive in the Clovis uh, City Square or some shit, which is about the size, half the size of a football field. I'd be surprised if 50 people show up. Uh, it's three hours from here. I don't know if I want to drive that fucking far. Not for that shit. Right? Anyway, um, it was a great ride. <laughs> My back feels like somebody's poured some water down it but it's cool it's the air conditioner is working well the heat the sump pump is working it's like 80 degrees in here it's 100 degrees outside so it does feel a little cooler um but yeah uh those two books i highly recommend especially this one the avenger of the new world i strongly recommend you get this professor dubois lays out exactly what happened um in the haitian revolution and you will see that all these people screaming revolution and all this stuff if they're serious about it just like Malik El Shabazz said, man. Just like Malik El Haj Shabazz said, revolutions are bloody, right? And and if you want that kind of stuff here, if you want what happened in Haiti here, you better read about what happened in Haiti first. Because the Haitians, they made that blood pact with all the people that were tired of white supremacy or the colonial slavery mindset, and everybody who was tired of that shit, the first people that they targeted were the people that helped the whites keep them down. That's the first people they targeted. No shit, right? So um, I can understand why white people are fucking nervous. I can understand why the smarter white people, because we were talking, and while we were talking, we both pulled up, um, you know, some live feeds on on his phone on Twitter. I can't get on fucking Twitter on Twitter and and some other live feeds, and it turns out a lot of the white supremacist groups were egging these motherfuckers on. They wanted them to turn violent. And if you watch a lot of the live streams, some of the smarter Peckerwoods, some of the smarter rednecks out there, when some of the older ignorant motherfuckers started shoving some of these younger black kids and younger Hispanic kids, they got right in the middle of that shit. They kept their firearm in front of them. They didn't point it at anybody. They kept them. And, they, and I noticed they had trigger discipline. Not one of them had their finger in the trigger hole. That shit, if they would have done that, it could have got real ugly. So you got to give those motherfuckers credit. But the few white people that jumped in between and stopped that shit, they understood what was going down. All it takes a fucking spark, man. Because the ideas from Haiti, from I'm sorry, Haiti, please excuse me, from Haiti and the Caribbean, they're starting to percolate here. They're starting to percolate here, and if the shit starts to percolate here, these there these white people with the friends that are in the militia that wanted to do that three percent bullshit, they can talk all that bullshit you want, but you saw what happened. You saw what happened. They got outnumbered and they crawled up in a fucking library and watched while people burned their flags. Right? And if you watch the rest of that live stream, they walked out of that library, got in their little fucking tr trucks with their truck nuts, and the nuts got clipped, and they left. They didn't start shit. They didn't say shit. They didn't start shit. Because they were out fucking numbered. This is what I'm trying to explain to you, man. These fucking militia assholes who talk all that bullshit, right? These pecker woods in Tennessee and Kentucky and all that, South Carolina, all that shit. They, they, they're not built for that. They're not built for it. They're not built for it. You get about 20 of them and give them weapons, yeah, they'll stare down, you know, unarmed BLM marchers. They'll do that shit. Let 15 people, half their number, show up with weapons. They'll go back the fuck in the house. They're not built for that shit. They're not built for that shit. They're not. They're not. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. If the Nation of Islam had marched somewhere 
and you burned the NOI flag, that's fucking war, dude. Yeah? If the Moors had marched somewhere, if the Hebrew Israelites had marched in New York and you burned their flag, that's fucking war, dude. Somebody going to the hospital and somebody going to jail. None of that shit happened. None of that shit happened. Right? These motherfuckers, they're not built for that shit. And they're scared shitless. The smarter ones... Remember what I told you, man. They don't have the, the rhetorical, intellectual powers on their side to make their arguments. So their arguments are being boiled down to straight-up racism. It's, it's straight-up racism now, right? And they're scared shitless, right? They're scared shitless. They're scared, man. They are so fucking scared, right? If you saw that live feed, you saw just how scared they were. They were ready to fight amongst themselves. They were literally white people willing to fight amongst themselves to keep the crazier ones from starting some shit because they knew, just like the Klan, remember that story I told you several videos ago? When the 30 Klan surrounded that one lawyer's house, there might have been two or three Klans like, fuck it, we're going to kill all them motherfuckers. The rest of them were like, hey, I got a wife and kids. And that's what happened. That's what happened. The, the arguments between the two, the three percenters and all that other shit, if they were as hard as they were, there wouldn't have been no arguments. It would have been it, it would have been down and done. Okay? There would have been there would have been no fucking arguments like that. These motherfuckers know they're not built for that shit and don't think that they're built for that shit. You wanna see what it takes? You wanna see what who the kind of people that are built for this shit? Read this book. These are the kind of people that are built for this shit. Go look up the Mau Mau's that Malik El Ha Shabazz was talking about, that Brother Malcolm was talking about. That's what it takes. Stop talking shit about that NFAC dude. He rolled up there with 3,500 strong in Louisville. And they weren't fighting amongst themselves. They looked very fucking organized. And if you remember that fucking video, the militia in Louisville were like, hey, we're going to stay back here and back up the police. Oh, that's another thing. Apparently, the, the New Mexico Civil Guard is so fucking stupid that they told the Albuquerque Journal that they were actually there to, in, in Clovis, their little, their little meeting on the 22nd. They're actually there to figure out how best to back up the local police. You're a militia and you're figuring out how to back up the police? Dude, That your whole thing... Man, fucking cowards, man. You know? So, yeah, don't, don't, don't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this other one... This other one, Negroes with Guns. Please get this book. Please get this book. It goes all the way back to Frederick Douglass. Right? You know, everybody knows the story of Frederick Douglass, right? But the story of Frederick Douglass was that one day, one of the slave overseers or even the slave master himself, I forgot who the hell it was. I have to read the book. It's in there. Started beating Douglass's ass, right? And Douglas was one of those slaves where he was allowed to walk around. He could leave the plantation and shit. So one day Douglas got his ass beat and he was so startled by the beating that he got, he left the fucking plantation for a couple of days. When he came back, he was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And he hauled ass. He, 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 he got a, what was it, a gun, a belt, and some clothes. And he even writes in his thing, he was, he was willing to kill some motherfuckers for that shit. Right? So, yeah, get those two books. Especially, I would strongly recommend The Avengers of the New World. You want to talk about what it's going to take to overthrow white supremacy? Read about what it actually took for slaves on a plantation island. These motherfuckers had nowhere to go. It's an island. Every other island has a plantation on it. Where are they going? <laughs> right? But yeah, this, this, this Stone Mountain uh, uh, protest or whatever the circle jerk, you know, redneck jamboree, whatever the fuck it was, that shows you right there how disorganized these people are and how cowardly they really are. You don't have to fear these motherfuckers. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. I don't know what the fuck Trump's counting on uh, with the mailboxes getting pulled up and thinking there's going to be some kind of civil war. Mm -mm. No. No. They ain't got no heart, man. These motherfuckers ain't got no heart. Just like Malik El Shabazz was saying. They ain't got no heart. They ain't got no heart for it. They ain't got no fucking heart for it. Don't, don't be afraid of these motherfuckers. There's no reason to be afraid of these motherfuckers. Right? History tells us. Right? What's that great line from the Godfather? Uh, uh, what, is, what does Michael Corleone say? If history teaches us anything, it's you can kill anybody. These motherfuckers have, you don't have no reason to fear these motherfuckers. They fear death more than you. They fear the future more than you. They really do. They're scared motherfuckers. Really. There was dozens of them, different... Militia groups at Stone Mountain. 
whole bunch of white people. And how did they, what happened? They got chased into a library by unarmed protesters. You think them motherfuckers could stand a chance against the 3,500 strong NFAC that showed up in Louisville? They'd get their ass kicked. Fuck the dumb shit. This ain't paintball, son. This ain't paintball. Fuck the dumb shit. You can run around in the open spaces playing commando all you want. But when them bullets start whizzing past your fucking head, your perspective on the reality will fucking change. It will change. And these motherfuckers ain't built for that shit. They're not built for that shit. They're not. <laughs> Today proved it. Today proved it. If you had any doubt that the white militia, the three percenters, any of these Peckerwoods have any ability to put up a fight, you saw it today. You saw armed white people with rifles get chased into a fucking library by unarmed protesters. By fucking protesters that had signs that says transgendered rights equals rights. That's the kind of fucking heroes these motherfuckers are. You got chased into a library by transgender rights activists, you fucking pussies. And I shouldn't say, you fucking cowards. They're cowards. They're even worse than cowards. What the fuck, man? You had a weapon and you couldn't stand your ground? Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Okay. I love that one dude. There. There's one dude on the Twitter feed. He was talking about, I'm here protecting my uh, First Amendment rights by, by displaying my Second Amendment rights because the Marxist, Communist, Socialist, Libtards are going to do some shit. I'm here to protest at the park. Park's closed, sir. Okay, well, we're going to stay right here to protect... I'm, you're supposed to be scared of this fuck nut? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? God damn, man. Unreal. Unreal. It was a nice bike ride. I'm going to sit down and enjoy these books now. I'm going to take a, 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 a hot shower, cold shower, some shit. Wipe this street smell off my ass. But, yeah. There is no fucking reason at all to be afraid of these motherfuckers, man. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? The, the, just the stupidity of these idiots. We're here, they, were, they were there to answer the NFAC from the 4th of July. That was 45 days ago. It takes you 45 days to respond? What kind of organization do you have, dude? And then you look at, look, you look at the loose affiliation of inbreds, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. I mean, they do have the one thing over the NFAC. They, 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 they showed up dressed for the weather, right? Nobody passed the fuck out because they dressed in all black. That's the only thing they got going for them. Other than that, these idiots do not deserve your respect. They do, not, they do not engender any kind of fear. Any kind of fear. I promise you, man. I, I mean, really, dude. You showed up with camo and gear and your molly bullshit and your extra clips and your extra ammo and your extra shit and all that, and you got chased into a library by transgendered rights activists. Golly. We're supposed to be afraid of this, right? These are the fuck nuts we're supposed to be afraid of? Are you for real? Are you for real? <laughs> this book talks about Robert Williams and the Deacons for Defense. It talks about a whole bunch of other stuff, too. You want to see some motherfuckers that you need to be afraid of, read this book. You want to see the shit, that, the kind of heart and the courage it takes to free this land, read this book. But the one thing you should not do from now on is be afraid of any of these white militia assholes. At all. Do not fear these motherfuckers. They're not worth fearing. They don't have, they don't, they're not courageous people. You understand? They're not courageous people. Malik El Ha Shabazz had it right. They can walk around with that military gear all they want in daylight hours. But when the sun goes down and it's even Stevens, these cowards will not come out of the fucking house. The cowards at heart. All right? Y'all be safe out there. Peace.